P.S. If you'd like to support this sustainable and ethical channel, you could do so over at patreon.com slash Christina, where you receive all kinds of goodies like access to my Facebook group, the secret podcast where I talk about things like my opinions on palm oil, how to meet friends as an adult, all kinds of zero waste tips. You also receive all of my YouTube videos and the podcast early and all kinds of other goodies like downloads, weekly planner templates, and all kinds of stuff that I put all up on patreon.com slash Christina. If you can afford to be over there, thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. And if not, that's cool too. Enjoy the video. Well, hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy. If you are new here, welcome. I make videos about living a more well, sustainable, low waste lifestyle. So if any of that stuff interests you, make sure to hit subscribe and join in on all the fun here. And most importantly, welcome back to another episode of Will It Work where we try out some low waste, zero waste DIYs that honestly, I just don't know if they're gonna work or not. <laughs> Like I mentioned in my skincare video that I did last week, I want to try out making some low waste, super affordable and easy face cleansers. So that's what we're going to do today. As you can see, I have a plethora of ingredients in front of me. I found a recipe via Fairyland Cottage who has an incredible array of different low waste and like natural beauty DIYs. And this one looks super simple and like something that I maybe could potentially do. So thus, here we are and that's what we're going to do. We're gonna make some face cleanser, face cleanser. I'm only using four ingredients, all of which I was able to find in bulk. If you can't, some of them you can make, like gram flour is basically just ground up bulk garbanzo beans. So today we're gonna to be using some oats to make oat flour. We're gonna be using gram flour, which is basically ground up chickpeas, like I just mentioned. We're gonna use some rye flour and some dried chamomile flowers. I also have a jar that I'm gonna put the cleansing powder in. This is literally just an upcycled old jar from my tahini. I have a measuring cup just so I can mix everything in and it's got a little spout. We don't own a funnel, so we just make do with what we've got. And I'm also using this hand-me-down magic bullet so that I can grind up all of these flowers. Okay, so again, I have the recipe up on my laptop just so I don't like really mess this up. I did take out two of the ingredients that she had in her recipe. One of them was turmeric and the other one is lavender. I don't have any lavender on hand at this very moment. And personally, I don't, you guys probably can't really tell until I'm standing next to somebody else, but I'm such a pale human that every single time I've tried to put turmeric on my face, it doesn't work well for my skin tone. I am too pale, I turn yellow. I think it's gonna work just as well. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna use the magic bullet now and I'm gonna make a little bit of oat flour first, just with some regular bulk oats. I'm just gonna pulse it up. And voila. Pretty sure that was the only ingredient I needed to like make. So we are off to the races. <laughs> just kidding, that's not true at all. I have to do that with the chamomile now. <laughs> I'm just gonna like pour a little bit in here. I don't know, how much do I need? A teaspoon, how big is a teaspoon? This should be more than enough dried. I'm not even gonna worry about washing this off if it's all gonna get mixed anyways. Well, would you look at that? Now that all my ingredients are prepped, let's go ahead and mix it in here. Two tablespoons, one, two. Two tablespoons of rye flour. Look at me, I'm like a chemist. Bam! Two tablespoons of garbanzo or graham flour. One and two. Also, by the way, did you know that you can make tofu out of graham flour as well? Fun fact, I enjoy it very much. One teaspoon of chamomile, and that's it, folks. She said that you could sift it to make sure that everything is kind of like mixed together well, but I feel like there aren't very many chunks, so I'm just gonna pour it into my empty jar that I will be storing it all in. I'm honestly, I'm just gonna shake it up so I don't have to mix it. Multitasking. All right, well, that was super easy, so now I'm gonna put it to the test and see Will this work? I don't know. I don't know. So I do have like a full face of makeup on right now. So you guys have seen my skincare routine. It was the last video that I posted. So I'm gonna do a little bit of oil cleansing to first remove my makeup and then see if this will remove all of like the grime and stuff. I have a feeling that when I do the white towel test, 
that there's still gonna be makeup on my face, but only time will tell. <laughs> okay, lol, welcome back to my bathroom. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of oil cleansing just to remove my makeup first. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this bulk grapeseed oil. Oil cleansing is my favorite way to remove makeup, by the way. It's super easy. It just separates the makeup from your skin. And then I use a damp washcloth to take it off. Except for the fact that I look like this halfway through. <laughs> just rub all up in there. Dissolve it all. Try my best to be gentle around my eyes. Even though most of the time I forget. <laughs> Usually before I remove all of this from my face, I just use some soap and I take all the gunk off of my hands. Take all the oil and makeup that's on my hands off of it first. <laughs> then I usually just take a washcloth. I have a couple of like reusable old washcloths that I've dedicated to just using for makeup removal. So you'll see there's like various stains on it, but I promise it's clean. I usually just damp one of the sides and then it removes it all. Voila. And again, I try to be gentle around my eyes, even though most of the time I forget. <laughs> okay, my makeup is off. You can see obviously my face is agitated just because I've been rubbing it and I'm pale. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of this guy. Okay, maybe this isn't the best jar in hindsight to put this in. I really don't want it to spill everywhere. I should probably use a spoon, but... <laughs> By the way, it kind of smells like maybe not the best. It smells like chamomile with flour, you know? I like this much in my hands. I'm gonna add like literally just a couple drops of water. Just until it becomes a nice like paste. And then, and then I'm gonna put it all over me. It doesn't smell super great, but whatever. It literally just smells like flour. You'd think that the chamomile would smell more. It would definitely smell better with the lavender. I would think. The rye flour definitely like overtakes the smell, I feel like. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my face. That's a little better. I mean, it feels like it's working. Like, it feels like a regular cleanser, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it off. Honestly, my face feels really clean. And I didn't get, like, you know when you use a face moisturizer where, like, the pH of your face just gets way too adjusted and then you get that, like, sticky feeling like you would with, like, a bar of soap? I don't have that, so... I don't see any makeup on there. Let's see though, if there's any. Honestly, I see a little bit, but that was just because I, I think I got it from like the side of my hairline where I probably would have missed, which happens with my regular cleanser all the time. Dude, this worked. Oh my gosh. There's honestly like less makeup on here than when I use my like fancy $30 cleanser. <laughs> what the heck? And like now I can just continue with the rest, like my moisturizer and everything. I keep touching my face, like expecting to find some and like squeal on it. Dude, this was so easy and genuinely like, I'm shocked, I'm shooketh. I'm gonna continue using this and I will let you know in the next Will It Work video if like how I'm feeling about it. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can get the updates. We'll see if I break out at all. I'm gonna try and use this like, for the next couple weeks and we'll just see. And this maybe cost me like $2. I'm not even kidding to make. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna follow up with my moisturizer and eye cream and stuff now. Before you exit the video, let me know what you'd like me to DIY next time. Also, don't forget that you can subscribe to my podcast via the links in the description box below, as well as my email newsletter. You can sign up for patreon.com slash Christina. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe, very important. And of course, you can find me on Instagram. And until next time, remember to stay happy, humble, and forever compassionate. And I love you guys so, so much. Bye.